This is Denver 7 On Demand. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jason Grenauer with the latest from Denver 7. We have new information tonight on the family now healing and recovering after last week's road rage shooting in Westminster. Megan and Asa Bigelow are both in the ICU at the hospital. They've been making some progress and have their family by their sides. Funeral plans for 13-year-old Vaughn are still being figured out. And if you want to help the family, they're asking that you donate blood. Say goodbye to all those orange barrels along Brighton Boulevard after almost two years of construction. Brighton Boulevard redevelopment is almost complete. All four lanes of traffic are officially open, but it's not all done quite yet. Crews are still finishing up those bike lanes, sidewalks, as well as pedestrian lights. Zipcar is helping you enjoy Colorado State Parks for free. Some of its cars in Denver are getting passes that'll let you park for free at any state parks managed by Colorado Parks and Wildlife. You can reserve a car on Zipcar's website before you head out for the day. For the First Alert Weather Center, we have a look at your forecast. A little bit of a mixed bag, but that's what comes in Colorado this time of year. Some evening storms on Friday, a high of 83, but then things do kind of calm down. Mostly sunny, a gorgeous day on Saturday. That's probably when you're going to want to have your plans set because then the next set of strong storms moves into our area starting on Sunday. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here a little bit later on tonight for another update and download that Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jason Grenauer.